Hi guys, well Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video is I will gonna show you the my demo and review for my new uh, foundation Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation Yeah, this cutie cutie little bottle here is my foundation I have it on my face and yeah, I like the result of the product and for me uh medyo matte siya and then of course I'm a dry skin medyo matte ang effect niya sa skin ko but you know the power of makeup I blend it with I used my makikita niyo sa demo later on kung which is yung ginamit ko or the Beauty Blender or the brush. I'm in a shade of 3W0. And the color is much naman dun sa skin tone ko. And yeah, I love the result. And for you guys to see kung how did I apply the foundation, uh, stay tuned and keep on watching for my demo and later on uh gagawin ko rin yung review so please do watch and stay tuned see you later so guys i will prime my prep prime <laughs> i prime my face using this uh of course always my mac uh light foam brightening formula. Ayan. Yeah, de dehydrate natin yung dehydrate ba yun? Uh, you have to make sure na imamoist natin yung ating face. Kasi yung Estee Lauder na uh, double wear foundation is medyo matte finish. So, we need to make sure na na moisturize natin yung ating face. So, here na guys. Ito yung Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup Foundation. And I am in the shade uh, 3W0 Warm Cream. Pero I'm I'm sure uh, mas maputi to sa sa ka tone ko. But, ipiblend naman natin siya ng okay and uh, papatungan natin siya ng bronzer to make it uh, equal. So, for this foundation application, uh, well, nag-iisip ako, I will use a buffing brush. It's a dense brush from Real Techniques or gagamit ako ng uh, Beauty Blender or yung sponge. So, gagawin ko na lang half ng face ko is sponge and half of my face is yung beauty blender. Ito na yung ano, this is the mirror that I got dun sa parang uh, uh, alak. Nung bili ko last week din. Then, magagamit ko na siya. This, this It looks like this. Uh, parang it's perfect. Woo! Oo, 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 ang dami. Kunti dapat kasi a little goes along the way. So, wala ako ng ganyan. It's a, tala, konti lang siya. Ito, pili ko ang dami. And then, so, half of my face is yung bakit ang puti? Uh, bakit ang dami puti-puti ng mukha ko? So, half of my face, guys, is yung uh, dito muna, yung brush. Parang, I'll apply like this. Ang dami ko nakuha ang product. Uh, oh my god. So, this is the blending brush. My real techniques of um, expert face brush. So, let's do this. Oh my god. Para ang dami kong product na nakuha. Oh my god. See? Ang dami kong product na nakuha yata. Oh my god. So, 
So, yan na guys. This is the part that I applied using my brush. And compare dun sa part na wala pang foundation. So, mm, my first impression is it really dries quickly. Babili siya matuyo. And then, so, kasi nga mat, diba? And then, dapat konti lang pala ng product. Kasi parang ang dami kong nilagay na product. Kaya medyo maputi siya. On cam, but dito sa, in reality naman, di naman siya masyadong maputi. So, next we, go, we will try using the beauty blender. So, same, oh, same process lang naman sa paglalagay ng foundation. That's, that's, that's. Mabilis lang siya matuyo, guys. It really dries. Super quick. Apply your foundation as well as dun sa my neck area kasi kailangan pantay. So, this is my beauty blender. The beauty blender. Actually, mabilis talaga ang application ng beauty blender talaga. Compare sa brush. So, ayan na guys. Uh, this part is yung beauty blender. And this part is yung brush. So, on my part, parang mas bet ko yung beauty blender. Pero ang dami nang sasabi sa YouTube. Mas gusto nilang application is yung brush. But for me, parang gusto ko yung application ng uh, beauty blender. Kasi mabilis na siya. Medyo dewy pa yung finish niya. I mean, yung dewy yung medyo hindi siya ganun ka-dry. Not unlike dito sa brush na talaga pumasok agad siya dun sa mga pores ko. So, this is the first layer. So, i-zoom natin para you can see. First layer lang to. So, next guys, papatungan natin siya for the second layer para makita natin kung talagang ano yung result niya pag nilagyan siya ng second layer ng no, product. And this time, for the second layer, I will use the beauty blender na lang para to make it better. Kasi parang gusto ko yung beauty blender yung gagamitin ko for application. Dapat konting product lang nung no, Estee Lauder foundation kasi as in full coverage siya. So... And guys, this is the second layer ng foundation. And yung result niya is, feeling ko okay naman siya. And it blends well. Kaya lang dapat bilisan nyo lang. Kasi parang itong formula na to na this, oh, this uh, foundation yung Estee Lauder nga, the double wear. Uh, stay in place makeup foundation. It really dries quickly. So kapag nag-apply kayo into your face, dito muna sa part na to, lalagyan nyo ng foundation. Then, kung depende sa inyo, kung on, my, on my part kasi mas gusto ko yung beauty blender. So, pag lagay nyo ng product dito, i-blend nyo agad kasi mabilis siyang matuyo. So, dapat every apply, uh, I mean, yon every putting foundation or the formula on your face, blend agad using your beauty blender or yung brush. Kasi, yun na nga, mabalis siyang matuyo. But yung finish niya, it's for me, kasi dry skin ako eh. Medyo matte finish siya, but hindi naman siya ganun kabigat sa uh, mukha. Yung parang 
you feel na parang, oh, may foundation ka talaga. No, it's parang uh, lightweight foundation. And then, medyo maputi siya. Wala, okay lang yun kasi ipiblend natin yan using the bronzer. Yung product na, may natira pa, oh, ayan. So, dapat talaga, guys, konti lang nung formula yung kukunin nyo sa pag-apply kasi masasayang lang. So, yung the rest ng product, gagamitin ko na lang to on my neck area. So, guys, this is the result ng two layers na ginawa kong application ng uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Ano ba to? Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Mega Foundation. And this is second layer. And so far, I liked it. So, this is the look nung second layer and parang yeah, I liked it and medyo maputi lang siya dun sa color ng aking neck area but no problem for that kasi ibiblend ko naman yan later on with my bronzer and yeah so next step is I will do my usual uh, makeup routine using my you know, eye makeup bronzer, the blush and I will be back later so see you guys hi guys so I'm back I'm done with my uh, makeup uh, routine and this is how the foundation looks and so far I love it I love the result of the foundation I applied my uh, highlighter there kaya medyo glowy siya. but the foundation is very good it's a very full coverage foundation and what i like in this foundation is yung a little bit of the product lang it's very uh blendable kasi diba it's a very high pag high pigmented foundation and now is it's 310 so i will be right back after a few hours to see kung how the foundation goes and I like it and uh, very 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 pigmented and ang maganda sa foundation na to hindi siya sticky hindi siya um, hindi siya sticky ah, thick, tuloy. it's not sticky at all and then very lightweight kahit medyo na parami yung lagay ko dun sa ano sa application na ginawa ko and yeah, I like it. I like the result and um, and also I like my makeup today. Medyo ano lang siya. Sorry, I'm looking at there kasi andun yung aking monitor ng aking computer. So, I like this. So, see you guys after a few hours. I will be right back para ma-update ko kayo kung ano yung result nung foundation after mga ilang hours kung it will stay long ba or mabubura siya or it will turn oily or it will make your skin dry so see you later guys after a few hours bye so guys I'm back for the update ng aking foundation na uh, this um Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. So, it's check uh, time is it's already 6.07 and yung first update ko kanina uh, actually yun yung first update na it's 3 hours ago and now after 3 hours, the foundation is, mm, looks good pa rin, still holding on. <laughs> but, yun dun lang sa may smile lines ko is, nag, merong konting, par nag-stack up siya dun. But the rest of the face is okay naman siya. Um, medyo oily lang na siya. Nang, naging oily ba siya? Or, dahil lang medyo marami akong nalagay na product. But, for me, it's okay. 
hindi siya nag, ano, nag, natanggal. Actually, kumain na nga ako eh, then, may ginawa, naglinis ako ng konti. Hindi naman kasi ako lumabas. The foundation is good, and, ang masasabi ko lang sa foundation na to is, two thumbs up. Kasi, bet ko siya. And, for me, is beauty blender works. Compared dun sa brush. Kasi parang mas mabilis yung blending nung uh, beauty blender compared dun sa blush. So, that's my review after 3 hours nung application. And so, yan guys, it's the final, this is my final update dun sa uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stain Place uh, Makeup Foundation. So, at uh, the time that I applied the foundation is that was 3 o'clock, uh, past 3. So now it's almost 8 o'clock in the evening. So mga almost four and a half hours. And then this is it. The update is the foundation is still looks good. And although nakakita na yung mga red veins ko dyan, but yung consistency ng foundation it's still there and it doesn't crack it doesn't dry a lot and it's good i like it and i think i'm gonna wear this foundation siguro sa mga ano uh aurahan mode kasi it it is really a super full coverage foundation and yeah, that's my final update and review of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stain Place Makeup Foundation. So, hopefully guys, makakuha kayo ng base dito sa demo na ginawa ko and then review. And for me, it is a very good foundation and it will last, uh, it will last long. Kasi yun naman definition niya sa kanyang, uh, packaging and yeah see you guys on my next video and please subscribe comment and ko ano yung mga gusto nyo videos na gawin ng inyong lola and thank you guys for watching on my videos and see you on my next video bye bye